Today, we will look at some signals and we will try to decode the protocols through which they are communicating. And these are very, very common ones. For example, we can use a simple temperature sensor such as the DHT11, probe the signal lines and look at the graph and then try to decode the protocol it is using. Today, we will explore three such protocols, the common ones, for example, the asynchronous serial, the I2C, and for the last one, we will actually look at a non-standard protocol. We will probe into the data sheets to learn about the signal, and then we will try to read what the signal is giving. And we will do all of this using a very, very tiny device called the logic analyzer. So let's go ahead and dive into the first example, which is using the asynchronous serial. For that, we will just need the Arduino board right here and the Salier. Now I will be connecting it with uh, the logic analyzer using just uh, two of the pins, the TX and the RX, because I'll be using the asynchronous serial. And it will also have to be connected to the ground channel. So here I have connected the Sali or the logic analyzer with the three uh, pins. For example, the TX and the RX are right here. And then you have one ground channel here. So for the first example, it is really simple. All we are going to do is print hello every two seconds. So let me go ahead and flash this code. And it has flashed it uh, by detecting the port as well as on an Arduino Uno board. So why don't we go ahead and look at the serial monitor and you'll see the hello coming up every two seconds. Next, let's dive into the Salier Logic software where I will try to probe the signals. So let me show all the channels as you can see that I've only connected channel zero and channel one because I'm just probing the TX and the RS pins, just channel zero and one and ground. So I can go ahead and hide uh, channel two and channel three. And to probe it, I will maybe just do it for five seconds. So let's start. And the signals have been recorded. So let me try to zoom out. And the first thing you will notice is that there are two very, very clear signals coming in in about two seconds apart. And this is exactly what we have written in the code, which is uh, two seconds. So why don't we go ahead and look at one of them? This is uh, what we see the digital signals at the top, which is uh, displayed by Salier. And at the bottom, you'll see the analog signals. This is something that we should be able to see in an oscilloscope. Now, the cool thing about a logic analyzer is that we can actually go ahead and add a supported protocol. In this case, it is an asynchronous serial because we are probing the TX, the RX. So let me go ahead and add that. Uh, just to make sure that uh, we have channel zero. And this is basically the TX because it is just transmitting the word hello. 9600 is the baud rate. Okay, save it. And the moment I do that, you will notice that the word hello is coming up here. So, hey, it has actually decoded it. And there is even like a little bit of a new line at the last uh, two bits. And that is because I have done a print LN. For the second example, we are going to decode a I2C protocol. And for that, we will use a temperature and humidity sensor called SI7021. I bought this breakout board from Adafruit that uh, comes with a very handy SI7021 pinouts. And I basically hooked it up to the Arduino once again. Now SI7021 communicates with I2C protocol and basically we have the SDA and the SCL line. The SCL is the clock, which we will see in the signals later. And SDA is the data line. And to connect it to the logic analyzer, I have once again used two channels, channel zero for the clock line and channel one for the data line and the ground again. So this is the setup that I'm having. There are a lot of wires going on, but basically the blue and the green wire is connecting to the SDA and SCL pins of Arduino to the sensor. 
And the white and the yellow lines over here are coming from the logic analyzer to probe the SCL and the SDA line. And of course, uh, both the logic analyzer and the sensor is connected to this ground pin with the black wires. Let's quickly look at the code. So I am using the Adafruit library for SI7021. And it is also doing something very similar as the first example. All it's doing is it's reading the temperature from the sensor every two seconds in the loop. So I'm going to go ahead and flash in this code. And finally, let's uh, see what the serial monitor gives us. And this is the temperature that's coming from this line of the code. It is about 24 degrees. So now let's go back to the logic analyzer and try to capture the signals. So I'm going to capture for five seconds once again on channel zero and channel one. Remember channel zero is the clock signal and channel one is the SDA, the data signal. So here I am collecting the sample and there you see the samples have come in. So let me zoom out once again. And the first thing to notice is that they are two seconds apart. In fact, we have caught three signals within the five second period and there are all two seconds apart and this is exactly what we have written in the code. So why don't we zoom into one of the signal? So one of the signals seems to have uh, come in like three little bunches. So let's go ahead and look at say channel zero, which was remember the SCL pin and it is the clock pin and it kind of looks like that. And channel one is where we have the data and of course, uh, the analog uh, part is uh, corresponding to channel zero. Now, we know that uh, SI7021 is I2C, so I'm gonna go ahead and add the I2C here. So we have to define it. So channel zero for us was the clock line and channel one was SDA, the data line. And I'm gonna change it to the seven bit address. So immediately you see that it is basically decoding something, but uh, we are not really sure what it is. And uh, down here, they will also tell us all the decoding bits. And if we come here, we can also decode it in the various format. So let's try say binary format or decimal, but we are gonna use the hex format. So once again, if we want to really analyze what's going on, the data sheet is probably the best bet. So I'm gonna go into the data sheet of the Silicon Labs, which is SI7021. And when we scroll to, let's say the contents page, do we see something for I2C? Well, here we see the I2C on page 18. Let's go right there. And once we go to the section on I2C, we will see that they are using a seven bit slave address, which is what I've set. But let's read on. And I've highlighted some portions which I think that are relevant. Finally, we will come here to the no hold master mode where they will have the blocks of bits and bytes explaining to us what they actually mean. So the first part is a slave address, then measure command, slave address, measure command. And finally, we have the MS byte, the, mean, the most significant byte and the least significant byte and the checksum. So this little part of the signal is where we will find the temperature information, or is it? Let's go back to the logic analyzer here and let's zoom into the final portion. So here you see that there is a setup read and then two hexadecimal numbers and finally another one. So I believe this uh, six, seven and D0 is uh, what we are looking at, the most significant byte and the least significant byte. I'm gonna take out the calculator right here and record these numbers in hexadecimal. Let's come back to the data sheet, but uh, now the question is how do we derive the temperature from here? Well, let's read on. And finally, we see the equation right here. So I'm gonna change it to the decimal and then let's uh, crunch in this equation. So times 175 equal to, that's a huge number, divided by 65536. 
equal to and then minus 46. Well, that's giving us 24, something similar to what we noted in the serial monitor. Well, yes, exactly. That is the number. So this is how we have decoded an I2C signal for our temperature sensor. Now, whenever I do this kind of decoding of the protocol, I really feel like a detective. For example, in this case, the serial monitor value of 24 degrees Celsius actually matched what I decoded from the logic analyzer, which was also 24 degrees Celsius. And we also took a lot of help from the data sheet. It's really like detective, it's quite exciting. Now for the last example, we are going to be using a sensor called DHT11. If you see the wiring for DHT11, it is only using one line for the data. It is a one wire, but uh, it is not a standard signal. And that's why we will have to probe into the data sheets once again. For this, we are using just two channels on the logic analyzer, channel zero to probe the data line, which is connected to pin D7 on Arduino Uno, as well as the ground channel. So the white wire right here is uh, going into the pin seven of Arduino Uno uh, from the data line of DHT11. And uh, the yellow one is going to channel zero of uh, Salier, the logic analyzer. And of course, uh, we are connecting it to the ground pin as well as to the VCC right here with the red wire from the sensor. Let's quickly look at the code. It is very simple as well. We are going to read the temperature once again, not the humidity, and we're going to print it every two seconds. So the code uploading is uh, successful to the port. So let's connect to the port with the baud rate 9600. And there you see it started DHT11 and the temperature is about 25, 26, 25 .00. Wow, it seems to be giving zeros all the way. Let me come back to the logic analyzer. Now, in this case, we are not using any standard protocol. So I'm just gonna clear any protocol. We are using channel zero and channel one. We are actually not using channel one. So let me go ahead and hide this channel. So just channel zero, the data line. So why don't we go ahead and try to capture it? Yes, for five seconds, capture. And let's zoom out once again. And we have captured about three data, which are two seconds apart. So once again, this corresponds to what we wrote in the code. So let's dive into one of the signal. All right, so there is a 20 millisecond here, and then there are lots of stuff going on here. Well, it is a non-standard protocol, so we cannot add any of this. So we have to dig into the data sheet. So for DHT11, I actually found a couple of data sheets. So in the first data sheet, let's kind of scroll down and I have highlighted the important bits. The first thing we will notice that for DHT11, the accuracy is two degrees Celsius. Well, that kind of tells us why we had 0 0.00 as the accuracy here, okay. And this is where they are describing the communication protocol. They are calling it the single wire two way and a complete data transmission is 40 bits. So let me go back to this portion where it is describing the, what is a zero bit and then it is describing what is one. So I'm gonna sort of zoom in a little bit and see what is a zero bit. So, well, guess what? Um, it is about 50 microseconds and uh, the highs are about 23, 24 microsecond, which kind of corresponds to the zero indication. And if we go to the one indication, let's see whether we can find something one. Well, what about this one? Yes, it is about 50 microseconds and it is about 70. So, hey, it is kind of matching. What we need to do is grab all this data. So all the shorter ones here are all the zeros and the wider ones here are all the ones. Now we know that uh, it's gonna be a non-standard signal. So we have to take a little bit of effort to write down all these numbers. So it's gonna be a little painstaking, but hang in there with me. <laughs> 
So it looks like it starts with two zeros with the shorter uh, side of the signal and then one and then two zeros again. All right, so is that 40 bits? So I'm gonna kind of divide it up into four, keeping my fingers crossed. And guess what? Uh, it seems like there are exactly 40 bits. Now, once again, if I go to the data sheet, we can see that the first eight bit is the RH integral data. And next is the temperature integer data. All right, so I guess we are interested in the temperature integer data. Now notice that the decimal here are all zeros. And if you sort of compare it with the serial monitor, it is giving all the zeros. And uh, let me try to decode what is this temperature right here. So I'm gonna flip the bits here. And guess what, in decimal, this number is corresponding to 25, which is once again, exactly the same as what we noted in the serial monitor. So those were the three different types of signals that we used a logic analyzer to capture and decode. A couple of them, the first two, the asynchronous serial and the I2C are part of a standard protocol. So we could decode it with the help of data sheet and the logic analyzer. But the last one needed a little bit digging in to the data sheets of the sensor itself. And this is something we might do if we want to reverse engineer a non-standard protocol. So are you using a logic analyzer? How else are you probing into the protocols and the signals that you work with in every day? Let's share about it. Thank you.